This is an ABC 10 News update. And good evening, I'm Steve Atkinson in the ABC 10 News studio. Scripps Health has announced it is delaying some non-urgent procedures because of a significant staffing shortage. This comes as COVID-19 cases continue to climb and hospital staff is overwhelmed. The president and CEO of Scripps Health says they are taking a proactive approach so the staff doesn't get burned out. He says this will not look like it did last year when all elective procedures had to be canceled. He says that doctors will decide what cases can be delayed and notified of their patients. Right now, Scripps is looking to fill over 1,300 positions. That's compared to 832 open positions in August of 2019 before the pandemic started. In another crippling blow to businesses along the southern border, travel restrictions will continue. Today, the government extended restrictions on non-essential travel with Mexico and Canada for at least another month. The Department of Homeland Security cited the Delta variant as their reason for that extension. San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria has been lobbying the White House to end those restrictions. Today, he called the extension an unacceptable burden on businesses and people that rely on cross-border commerce. And a California judge has ruled tonight that Prop 22, which exempts gig work companies like Uber and Lyft from treating drivers as employees, is unconstitutional. The Alameda County Superior Court judge said the measure infringes on the legislature's power to set workplace standards. He said it makes the entire ballot measure unenforceable. The measure, which Californians approved in November, requires gig companies to provide a health care subsidy and wage floor for hundreds of thousands of drivers. The ruling will likely be appealed. All right, the weekend is here. Let's check in with our Leah Pizzetti for your weekend forecast. Yeah, hi Steve, we made it. Happy Friday, everybody. Friday brought cooler and cloudier conditions. Saturday is going to be much of the same. We're talking mostly 70s for most of San Diego County. Some areas nearing the 80s as we move inland, right around the century mark for our desert communities, but it's going to be a cooler and cloudier Saturday.